Well, look where I am. What's up, man? Welcome to Open Door. I'm chewing up. Are you actually opening the door for me? Yeah. Let's come on in. Well, I appreciate it. Let's chewing look. a cough drop. Sorry. I was trying yeah. to swallow it, but you yeah. started filming. Let's look around. Let's okay look around. Welcome to Open Door. This is an experience you do not want to miss. Okay. So I just got here to Open Door Church, about to meet a friend of mine named Jimmy. He has a YouTube channel uh, called Hey Worship Leader. We're just gonna hang out with him today, take a look around the church, crash the rehearsal, and then tonight, right after the rehearsal, they're doing a worship workshop. So we're gonna be able to sit in on that and uh, just kind of learn, because you know, great worship leaders are always learning. And look, here he is over here. <laughs> anyway, let's go meet Jimmy. Let's go take a look around the church and uh, see what we can get ourselves into. Open Door Church, go check them out. What's up, I'm Jimmy Cooper, worship leader here at Open Door Church. I've been here about three years and I love it. So I thought I would bring you on a tour. How about that? Let's do it. So, this is the Welcome Center. As we were just talking, we were about to expand because we have two services here and between the services, it gets a little hectic with people coming out and people trying to come in. And so we're about to undergo a big construction project where we're turning that whole area into a bigger entry. Nice. So what's down here? Down here. This is our connecting point. This is where we take our first time visitors and we say, hey, come, we have a free gift for you. We'd like to meet you, meet a staff member, meet the pastor. That's down this way. You can also get coffee, so it kind of naturally draws them there. But while we're right here, I wanted to show you that these are the bathrooms. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta know where the bathrooms are. Come on in. This is a multi-purpose room. We also have a uh, preschool that meets in here, so a lot of times there's kids running around and I can never get anything done. But today, it's nice and quiet because we're getting ready for rehearsal. And I want to introduce you to Daniel, our production director, who will be able to show us how we run sound here at Open Door. What's up, Daniel? Hey, what's up? Hey, man, I'm recording this time, so. That's good. That helps. <laughs> good to meet you. <laughs> yeah, good to meet you. So, what we have here for audio, is we run the PreSonus 32.4.2 AI. And this board is kind of like, it's like analog, as analog as a digital board can be. Yeah. Um, and that ends up being a little bit of a hurdle for a lot of volunteers as they're trying to learn. So what we found is rather than teaching them on the board, we actually teach them on a PreSonus program called um, Universal Control. And so we have the board hooked up to this Mac Mini, and then the Mac Mini actually runs most of what we're doing um, on the board. And it has a much simpler workflow where you've got gate compression equalizer kind of all in sequence. So you can run through that really quickly. And then we also don't really like mixing back here in a booth. A lot of churches right. will have kind of a booth for their sound guy, and you really want, or girl, and you really want your sound tech your audio person to be out in the house. So we actually run this iPad with universal control as well to be able to mix in the house. So that really helps. For lights, we run the Alation Show Designer and it's, I think it's actually marketed as a DJ board. So it's nothing special, um, but we generally just- Everything we use is marketed as a DJ, <laughs> something. Yeah. Um, so this lets us set scenes and then load those into shows. And then basically what we have the volunteers do is then just run a show where in our planning center, uh, like on their app, they can look and they can see when to change the steps. And so they're just stepping through different scenes. We don't run any like movers or anything like that. Um, we just try to keep it simple. For a presentation, we run ProPresenter on a uh, Mac and we, you know, we keep it pretty chill. Are we on seven yet? No. Didn't that like just come out? Yeah. <laughs> no. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we're back at six. So we're, we're chilling at six. Yeah, we are too until like August, I think. Yeah. Six. 
<laughs> Thanks for getting that light for me, by that, or that battery. Yeah, yeah. This That one was plugged in, and this one was sitting there. So I didn't know if this yeah, would already charge, if it was waiting yeah, to charge. Yeah, I'm going to throw that one through a window. Okay. So what's this over here? Oh, yeah. Check this out. Is, is this your desk? This is kind of like my desk away from my desk. Gotcha. I have a okay, desk okay, at yeah. the office, yeah. but then sometimes I'm doing stuff over here. I need to like send an email or something. Yeah. And I like to have something set up. So I like to provide instruments for each of the musicians in case they have the talent to play but don't have the equipment. So I provide a bass, electric guitar, setup, keyboard, acoustic guitar. What else do we provide? I think that's it. Anyways, I try to have all that just in case somebody can't bring their own equipment. Yeah, you provide drums. Drums. That's and right. We're using the latest and greatest electric kit, right? <laughs> no, <laughs> we're not using electric nope. kit. This is our drum kit. We keep it in this nifty shell here nice. to control the sound. Tell me about it. Tell me all of the information you know about your drum kit. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's it's located Sorry, here. I'm giving you hard time. It's located here, <laughs> and the door is right in front of the baptismal. We never baptize anybody, anyways. No, that's a joke. We got this uh, rolling thing so we can roll it out of the way when we baptize around once a month that's or so. Cool. We can roll this out of the way. We have a, uh, a chair here, a chair. <laughs> and uh, a, this is a snare. Is that it, a snare? It has this on it. Should we should we get somebody to tell us about <laughs> what we're using here? What's up, Sam? What's How up, man? You? Thank you. Good to see you. Good. Good to see everybody. What kick pedal is it? Uh, this is the Tama Speed Cobra. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I'll check it out inside when you get it set up. Yeah, absolutely. He would be the one to do the drum tour because he's like. What kind of drums are these? And I was like, well, they are wood. Uh, <laughs> they used to be Gretsch, but now it says uh, Evans on it. So I guess they're Evans drums. <laughs> yeah, they're Evans. So now. why don't yeah. we do that? So we're running a Gretsch uh, maple kit back here. We've got Remo power stroke head on the snare and then pinstripes on the toms and then an Evans EMAD on the kick. Uh, Zildjian crash cymbals and hi-hats, Sabian ride cymbal, um, I'm using my own kick pedal. That's the Tama Speed Cobra. Uh, 57 on the snare, Audix D2s for the toms. Another basically a 57 for the overheads. Another one on the hi hat. But uh, yeah, it's a pretty simple setup. Sweet. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thanks, man. Gibraltar throne. Oh yeah, we got nice that. Nice and one. nice and cushiony. He was able to read that way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. I'll have probably have my own symbols on Sunday. Okay. But uh, for practice, just use these ones. Okay. They work. They were pretty good. What do you bring? Uh, I bring my own set of Byzance cymbals. So I've got a Byzance sand ride, a, a uh, Byzance thin hammered crash, and then a Byzance dual thin crash. Nice. So I like those a little better. Just my personal taste, but, but these work great for what we're doing here. So. Next, do y'all use? Um, for the stage. We use the Sennheiser G3s. Um, yeah, still not getting anything. Um, and yeah, Sennheiser G3s. Let's go look at our keyboard rig. Someone's playing it right now, so don't mind her. Okay. But we run the M Audio Code 61. We just went about a year and a half ago over from a traditional piano to MIDI based through main stage, and we're using Sunday Sounds, Sunday Keys from Sunday Sounds, nice. and it's really been great. You said you provide keys. Yeah, you provide so. provide instruments, but your keyboardist that would have been here tonight. He, he would have brought his own because he has a Nord, and we're, it sounds really good. Mm -hmm. But um, most keyboard players don't have their own equipment, so we provide this setup. I have a, a Mac that's running main stage and um, the Sunday Keys program, and the template is really user friendly. We also have the, yeah, I got the sticker. So the, it's color coordinated, just nice. like the, the template on there. Makes it super easy. And um, we've been, we've had, we've had several workshops where we can get this out and just play through the sounds. I invite all the keyboard players to come and just try to get the keyboard players to switch from playing more like a piano player to switching more like a, kind of like thinking like a, an electric guitar player where you think through effects and patches rather than just one sound. So it's really added dimension to our sound here. We basically have a front line and a back line. Okay. So all the vocalists will be here on the front line. I stand here if I'm playing electric and I stand over there if I'm playing acoustic. Oh, one right of here. them. This is the acoustic side. 
So Rachel will be here tonight because she's playing acoustic. And then we have our vocalist off to the side. And on the back line we have keyboard and electric guitar players. Unless they're singing also, we'll bump them to the front. Okay. Um, bass players, never have we had a bass player sing. So, <laughs> never. Well, I've led for the, from the bass many I times. I know, so. like Leland. That dude does that. There you that. go. Yeah. So we run the Behringer in-ears here. So we can run a click. We're not doing loops or tracks or anything right now, but we're just we're running through a click. So my click setup is pro metronome. Okay. So I've got all the subdivisions and the BPMs preloaded. Uh, so I just load up the set list that we're gonna use. I've got everything in here so that when it's go time, everything's ready to go. Nice. And we're what rocking and rolling. Say that name this is Pro Metronome. Pro Metronome. Yes, sir. Have and you tried the Planning Center? No. One? I don't know. Yeah, Teach check me. it out. Music Stand, I think. You might can do it from the other app, but Music Stand, you should be able to do the click from there. You just do the click from there? Yeah. Whatever it is already in Planning Try Center? It. I don't know. I, I'm just saying. He's telling me stuff that's probably not true. I, I never tried it, especially not live, but Planning Center does have a metronome. You should probably try it. Let's try it together. I'll do a video about it. You tell me what you think. What's that? This here is a really good DI. It's called the Stage Bug Passive Stereo Laptop DI. So this is how we run the click. Oh, nice. Is this is how we run the click? Is that why you <laughs> <laughs> So what do we got going on for like stage lighting, stage design, that kind of thing? Yeah, so we actually made these panels. Can we go up there and look at you them? want to talk about the, oh up these lighting well then the, i'm not the person the camera needs to be pointed at. oh <laughs> you, you again <laughs> my gosh uh, i know right you just you, you know everything around here uh, so what do you do here? um <laughs> okay he leads the worship which is what's most important so uh for lights we've got um kind of a a color wash on these chauvet slim pars and then we also do some up lighting on our um, like lattice work that we had put in. So we kind of take a middle ground between a traditional church vibe and then like blackout curtain and then it's all about the lights vibe. We try to, you know, strike a balance there. And then for front of house, we um, get our front of house wash with Source 4s and we throw in two like Source 4 Juniors um, to kind of fill out uh, the pastor and then also the worship leader. Tell me about that the stage design you've been wanting to tell me about. <laughs> I don't even remember what I was going to say about it. <laughs> we built those stage pieces. They're just um, pieces of, well, it's, a, it's like a two, board, two by four frame with some plywood on top. I actually know the name of that plywood, but I can't. Do you know the paint code? T411, I think is what it's important. called. The paint code, yeah, that's right. And then we just hung some Edison bulbs over it just to give it a yeah. little bit of depth because it before really it was just a huge empty space and it looks a lot better now. Right. And it kind of helps with the drum sound not bouncing off the back wall. Yeah. Um, that, so. is, that is pretty cool. I, I like the way it's set up. I really like that we're able to move the drums now, like and, we talked about earlier. Right. And, you're, and you guys use, um, up top you have these. Uh, Slim bars. Yes, we do. Those are slim bars. Add a little bit of color, and you have some slim bars. Are those slim bars in between each yeah. panel? So there's four on the ground, and kind of behind the second panel on either side, they're shooting across to get the back wall, and then the next set of panels, they're shooting up to get those corners. Um, so that's how we get the color wash in the back. So we'll set one to kind of a blue, one to a purple, and you can get a little bit of a, a gradient, kind of a sherbet thing going on. That's pretty cool. I love it. it looks good. What's next? What's next? The green room. Let's go Let's look at the green room. We put our mics when we come off stage. We always remove our mics when we come off stage. It makes it look clean. And down here we have our guitar racks, keeping extra lights and junk. This is the church pedal board right here. Oh, nice. What's on it? You just want, quick. Just quick. It's an M drive overdrive on it, transparent overdrive. You There's said it's a, a helix? I did not. <laughs> <laughs> okay, go ahead. <laughs> I did not. Um, Ernie Ball, VP Jr. Okay. A tuner. Got up a tuner. What else is on there? A love pedal, Eternity Fuse, I think it's called. Okay. There's a Mad Hatter overdrive. I don't know, it was cheap. And then um, 
we have we're just running a boss dd20 for the delay and reverb is a mr black supermoon and there's a ditto looper on there in case somebody wants to make their own worship cool. pad and so this is the drum kit. <laughs> i'm just kidding <laughs> this, i'm kidding this is our main drum kit we'll bring it out <laughs> in a minute for rehearsal okay cool i like this little table too table and chairs yes chilling chilling oh most important part i almost forgot to show you welcome the snacks. The snacks. I thought you were going to say the bathroom. The bathroom. Again. Like <laughs> Again, yeah. We have much needed water, creamer, sweet tea, things to keep focused. Well, well hold on. Oh, yeah, there's hold our. Hold on. Yeah, yeah. Hey, there ain't nothing wrong with something like that right now. There's not. It's huge. It is it's huge. huge. It, it's huge. One of the no reasons doubt. we haven't put this back on, I'll tell you the reasons we haven't put this back on stage yet, because one, I wanted the keyboardist to get familiar with the MIDI controller. Uh -huh. Two, we strike the stage a lot because of different events and Daniel said it was getting heavy. Yeah. So. Tell them to work but out. We, but, but we do have it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. And uh, stuff. whose stuff is that? Never mind. <laughs> that's, that's yours. So, like I said, I like to provide things for the worship team. Um, but this is kind of a secret because I expect everybody to bring their own in-ears. But if they forget, which happens, sometimes I forget, the secret stash is right here. And they are not Shures. <laughs> what this, are they? <laughs> these are the ZST dual driver. I don't even remember. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we just did a video about that. That was on the... This is the, the $18 ones. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. ZST, uh, uh, something, something, something. It's C Z Z S T. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Per, uh, links in the description. Links in the description. <laughs> but anyways, so here are our isolation boxes for our amps because we don't run the amps on stage because they get rather loud, really loud. Mm -hmm. And tube amps like to be loud. Did you build these? We had them built. I drew up the plans and had a guy, a member in our church, do it for us. And um, this is what we got. Yeah, Very nice. Works really well because we used to just put the amps back here just back in this room and yeah. it, it would flood down the hallway. Well, of course. Yeah. What basketball goals do you use? We use the highly coveted 10 foot, believe it or not, basketball goals. Now they're, they're, ten foot. they're at eight Is foot right now. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> These are. Oh, I can dunk on those. These are the 10 foot. I'm taller <laughs> than I look in person, but yeah, that's 10 foot. No, that's 10 foot? Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> I believe you. So what amps are you running? So this is the church. This is the church amp. Uh, okay. It's a Fender Blues Junior. Used to be my amp. Gave it to the church when I bought my new amp. Okay. So now it's the church amp in case someone shows up and they don't have their own. And this is Graham's. He's playing tonight. It's a Vox AC30, I think. Very nice. And they're mic'd up with SM57s. Thank you so much for having me yeah, man. and all of us that are watching this video. We learned a lot. And uh, open arms, church. I'm just kidding. Open <laughs> arms, I know. Arms I kept, wide open. I kept saying that early, but it's just so good to be here at uh, Open Door. What's what's the website here? Um, <laughs> I don't know. Dude. Okay. Opendoorlife.com. There Ask you go. Me again. We'll put that in the description. If you want to learn more about Open Door, but I also want to say this is the first time one of our behind the scene guys, worship leaders, has had a channel on YouTube. Oh, yeah. And so I want to push that a little bit. And tell Thank us a little you. bit about your channel. Yeah, so Hey Worship Leader is a channel that um, gives resources to worship leaders to help them through the various aspects of worship ministry, like shepherding a congregation and how to lead teams well. Yeah. Um, you can also visit us on heyworshipleader.com and check more out there. Yeah. So go, yeah, go check out Hey Worship Leader. Subscribe. We'll put a little little round thing at the end of this video so you can click on that. But yeah, yeah man, I so appreciate you having me. Awesome. Um, it was great. It was so great having you. Now I'm about to go sleep on his couch. For sure. At the house, because I'm telling you, it's late and we're tired. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you want to subscribe, do that. Otherwise, remember, great worship leaders are always learning. Have a great day. See you. <laughs> Where'd you go? Was it supposed to walk this way? No, the women's bathroom's right there. And he <laughs> went to the one. <laughs> Never mind. I don't know where to go. We're going home. See ya. I think my next YouTube video is going to be five reasons you should not get the stomp. But it's going to be a trick. Because oh, five reasons you click bait. Mm -hmm. It's going to be trick. Clickbait. If you want people to watch your videos, you need clickbait. That's right. That's right. Or else you won't become YouTube famous.